Hello everybody, today we have the beautiful Asus Pro Art P16 series. It's an AMD Ryzen AI HX370 with beautiful graphics RTX 5070. Let's take it apart, let's see what we can fix, replace or upgrade. Let's start. So start with the bottom case, take out all the screws, then separate the bottom case. And now we can access all the internal components. So start with disconnecting the battery. Now let's take out the screws for the battery. And the battery is out. Here we have the model number. So if the battery is swollen or doesn't hold the charge, you can replace it. Now let's check under that cover, we should have our storage. So if your laptop doesn't boot and tells you no boot device or you would like to upgrade your storage to the bigger one, this is how you do it. Take out this one screw. And now we can take out the drive. The actual drive is in that cover. So that's our NVMe SSD drive. Here we can see our Wi-Fi card. So if the Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace this card. Gently disconnect the antenna wires. Now take out the screw on the top. And you can take it out. So here we have our model number. So if the Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace it. If your speakers make a bad sound, you can replace them. Mm, looks like the cable is rooted under the motherboard, so we'll get back to it shortly. So now let's take out the fans and the heat sink. So if your laptop overheats or the fans are not spinning, making grinding noise, you can replace them. So take out all the screws and disconnect fans from the motherboard. So that's first pen. We should have the model number. Maybe let's leave the heatsink first. Be careful with the heatsink, don't bend it, it won't work if you bend it. Here we have the model number, the part number. So in order to pull out the other two fans, we have to leave the motherboard. So let's take out all the screws for the motherboard. So let's disconnect, those are our video cables for the screen, so we have to disconnect it. Some 
Mouse geführt. Ja, die Keyboard Connector und das Touchpad. Okay, now we can take out the motherboard. Ah, so the fans are held by a little bit of adhesive here on the back. Okay, so that's one fan. That's the other side. And here we have our motherboard. Here we have the part number. Here we have the processor and the graphics card. They both soldered on the motherboard. So if they don't work, you have to replace the whole board. And now we can continue with our speakers. Okay, so those are our speakers. We have the part number. Let's look at the touchpad. We should be able to replace it if we take out these three screws on the top. Okay, so this is how we can take out the touchpad. So if it doesn't work, you can replace it. And let's look at the keyboard. The keyboard is held by these tiny screws. So if it doesn't work, you can replace the keyboard. Or you can look for the whole Palmerist keyboard assembly. And here we have the power button. So if the power button doesn't work, you can replace it. So that's our power button board. Here we have the part number. Now let's disconnect the screen from the palm rest. So unscrew the screws for the hinges. Okay, now gently unfold the hinges. Okay, looks like we have to unscrew the plastic stripe.
Okay, so there is another screw under that plastic strip. On the top of the hinge. That's our Palmerist keyboard assembly, usual solving one piece. Here we should have the part number. And by the way, if you need parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. And let's see what we can do about the screen. This one is cracked. It would be very hard to replace it. Let's see. It's So it looks like the whole screen is glued and very fragile. It's gonna be very hard to replace it. I would advise you to look for the whole screen assembly. This is how usually they sell it on eBay. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.